Orkin Derelict runs and in this case Vault runs. If you've seen Vault runs and don't know what they are and even if you uh, don't haven't been to the Orkin Derelict I'm gonna quickly go over the uh, two. Uh, first of all the uh, the Orkin uh, Derelict is just it's kinda like a the void but it has been taken over by the infested so it's the void all jacked up and you'll see when you get into the orc and derelict now as would be natural to uh, to get to a key for the orc and for an orc and derelict mission uh, you would go to the market as I just did and go to equipment and go to keys and you'll see in here, uh, you'll see the Orc and Derelict Assassination Blueprint, Capture Blueprint, Defense Blueprint, and Exterminate Blueprint, Sabotage Blueprint, and lastly, Survival Blueprint. And as you see, I have one of each at the moment crafted and owned. What you do is you buy the blueprint. I would, re I would recommend uh, going ahead and buying all five. They're only 1,500 credits. And then uh, go down to, or just open it up with your escape menu. But uh, go, but go to your key menus, and, you, and you'll see them here, the um, uh, blueprints form. And I'm gonna craft one here since I don't have one of the uh, exterminate, just just to show you. Uh, they require nav coordinates, salvage, nanospores, and circuits. You craft a key and. You're ready to go. It just costs it just costs the basic resources, and and it takes 60 seconds to craft the keys. You can rush for five flat, but come on, really? Okay. Now, vault runs. Uh, well, first of all, these missions here are, are regular missions, as you would play them elsewhere, uh, and they are they have uh, a different drops in them. I'm not going to go through the entire drop list. You can look that up yourself. But uh, it's basically when you have the keys and you go look up in your navigation, you'll see the derelict. And then depending on the keys you have crafted and how many of them, it will show you the missions, just like the void. And um, you click on one and, and you're ready to go. You can do them solo. You can uh, bring your buddies it's up to you. Now vault runs um, vault runs require you to sacrifice a void key in order to build them and here's why what you need are uh, one of the four uh, dragon keys okay you may like uh, I'd be asking what are dragon keys okay well first let me go through them and tell you what they do each person only carries one of these in their gear and they'll have this key will apply an effect while they are in the uh, derelict mission. The first one is the bleeding dragon key, and it reduces your health uh, greatly. I forgot the percentage, but it's it's very it's quite quite substantial. Uh, and then you have decaying dragon key, shields are reduced, and you have extinguished dragon key, your damage output is uh, reduced. And then lastly, you have the hobble dragon key, where the speed at which you move is greatly reduced. There's only four of them, and so you you have four people in the party, and you make sure each person has a different key, because once you get into the um, derelict mission, you're all gonna do the regular mission, but uh, but uh, the whole party is gonna be hunting for this vault, and it's gonna be very obvious. It looks like a vault, and I'm gonna play a mission and show you the vault and inside the vault are corrupted mods so it's great reward uh, but the the uh, main uh, piece of advice that I can give you for this is uh, just equip the proper warframe for the key that you happen to be carrying so uh, let's say you're carrying the hobble dragon key uh, for that you would obviously want to have a, a, a warframe that you have the right mods on or is already naturally uh, quite fast so you're so you're not quite as slow as you otherwise would be uh, for the uh, health and shields you know an obvious choice is rhino but you know I mean you can pick uh, whatever you like 
you know, I mean, the key is just, just to be able to get through the mission without dying. And then for your damage, uh, you can make your own call on that, because, um, you know, damage is damage. But, you you know, I mean, the ideal here is to have four people, and so uh, you just go to the recruiting and just say, uh, you know, something like hosting or can uh, derelict vault run or you can just put uh, hosting vault run uh, looking for more or just that uh, uh, hosting vault run people who know vault runs know what they are uh, also if you happen to have say two or three people in your party with the uh, all three different keys you can you can say host vault run need uh, uh, one more uh, with bleeding dragon key. Now that's kind of a long, I'm more inclined to spell things out instead of the shorthand, but you know, there's shorthand for that as well. But basically you want to make sure everybody has a different key equipped. And it's that simple. It really is. And we're going to play a mission here on it. Let me show you the last thing here. When you build one of these keys, I'll build one more here. Uh, let's just go ahead and build I don't know. Um a bleeding dragon key. When you go to click to build one of those bleeding dragon keys, um, well first let's just go from the start here. Uh, uh, to find the the dragon keys, it's it's I don't know why they did it this way, but if you go to uh, keys and drones, not here. So you're like, ah, you know, if you don't look around, you're like, what the heck? They <laughs> they put them under gear. Which it, they do go in your gear, so I, suppo I suppose that's why they uh, put them there. But as you see in the gear section of the market, they're 500 credits. Um, and you see, bam, bam, there's two of them. There's a third one, and the fourth one is right here. So there's three of them right here, and then the fourth one is, is over to the right. So you grab one of those and go here, just go to your keys. Uh, yeah, I didn't build uh, one more of these, but I'll go ahead and do it. Uh, the bleeding dragon key. So uh, you know, just pick it, it. It the fee is a void key. That's it's that simple. So you just take whatever void key that you want to do. You know, one that you, that you have a ton of. See, I have uh, uh, 18 tower two uh, mobile defenses. So I'll, I'll use one of those. And are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Again, this takes uh, one minute, and the rush fee on this is one plat. <laughs> so, what you do is you go into your gear and you find a slot and uh, I'll pick the uh, Bleeding Dragon Key and I'll say equip and there we are, we have the Bleeding Dragon Key. You don't want to have all four keys equipped, you know, I mean that's just going to be just ridiculous. So I have the bleeding dragon key. As long as it's equipped in your gear, the effect will be applied once you enter the derelict. Now, one thing to that you do uh, need to remember is vaults do not spawn on assassination or defense Boundary missions. Can be claimed. Operator, are you pleased? For obvious reasons, uh, they don't spawn on those two types of missions. But all the rest of the missions, the exterminates and so on, uh, the vaults will be in there and you'll, you will be able to find them. So I have a bleeding dragon key. I'm going to go uh, just go down here to uh, recruiting and just say, uh, well first let me, let me take a look at the keys just to have them uh, refreshed here. Have that up. See, I have the bleeding. Claim that extra one I built. Uh, decaying, extinguished, and hobbled are the ones I need. So I'm going to say uh, hosting vault run. Need three more with decaying, extinguished, and hobbled keys. PM with key. And that's the way I'm going to do it. We'll see what happens with the um, messages here. And so we got one here, two there. Okay, so this guy is the extinguished dra uh, a dragon key. He's in. Okay, I'm just going to tell him to okay, equip 
hobble, please. And I'll go ahead and try to invite. There we are. And then this guy. Okay. Equip. Uh, decaying, please. Oh, I'm going to double check. This guy. Uh, I did bleeding. He did uh, extinguish. I told this guy to put hobbled on. So uh, I'm going to tell this person to put decaying and I will invite alright there we are we have a full group okay guys everyone I have the keys I said we needed equipped well I'll give them just a minute but I'm running Rhino Prime, that's a common one. This guy's running his Ash Prime. And you can see up here, uh, I forgot about this, you can see the keys so you can verify. I'm running Bleeding. Uh, I didn't need to ask, obviously. He's got Extinguished. This guy's guy had hobbled. Okay, here goes. Alright, now I'm just going to launch and, and exterminate. Uh, I think I clicked that. Someone else may have. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> here we go. And you'll and uh, notice my stats. Uh, you'll notice my uh, stats will be significantly altered. Significantly. You'll see my health is 175, but I've got the shields, right? So I'm all good. So everybody's basically just running around looking for the uh, uh, vault. That's pretty much what you do in these missions. The vault's right there. Look at that. So this is what the vault looks like. Requires the hobbled key. Found vault. Need hobbled. Okay, so the guy with the hobble key comes here and he'll be able to open it and we grab it and then we finish the exterminate. Usually it's not this close to the entrance. Just waiting on this guy to uh Marines inbound. Yeah, I already said hobbled. <laughs> Come on, guys. It's over here. I'll mark it with the uh, waypoint. And you'll see it open up. There it goes. A pristine Aurokin vault. And you have to make it out. See, he has an effect on him now. The vault artifact. So I'm stay go. with him. Uh, protect him. And he has to make it the to the extraction. Plus, we need to, uh, I believe, finish our extermination. I'm going to stick with this guy. Try to protect him. The oh impure, great. The unworthy have no future. I happen to have an assassination coming after me during the middle of this. That's just just what I needed. Let me try to get with the other people. And I have the bug uh, where the rhino skin is not showing on my screen. I don't think it shows on my screen, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't 
don't know if we got all of them there. I didn't see a flash, but... down so we are just heading to the extraction now and that's a vault run and we'll see what the uh, reward is mission complete excellent work Tom. and get a rook cipher let's see oh yeah this is the mod uh, fleeting air expertise this is what we got was the reward. Corrupted mod reward. I'm just gonna host one right now for that. And I'm just gonna lead out, uh, leave out because I just wanted to show one of those. And if you have any questions about uh, any of this process, this is a 23 minute video. I'll try to cut it down a bit. Uh, but that is an orc and derelict vault run and a regular orc and uh, uh, derelict exterminate run as well. Two in one, but uh, showed you how to build uh, orc and keys and uh, a derelict keys plus the uh, exterminate, I mean exterminate, uh, plus the vault run keys in order to open the vault. Uh, and so it should be straightforward uh, from now. If you have any more questions, you can ask in the comments and uh, in, on the Warframe uh, dot wikia, w i k i a dot com is fantastic uh, resource for any information you need. So take care and uh, good luck with it.